Hey Dynamics 36 Fibers, it's Benitez here and in this quick tip today I'm going to be showing you how you can insert helper text in Dynamics portals including hyperlinks and much more. So the scenario is your users are building a form in Dynamics portals and you would like them to see helper text below a field label. As part of the helper text you want them to be able to click on a hyperlink that could lead them to a different um, web page if needed and you can also display different formats for the helper text as well. And the beauty of it is you don't need any code, it's all supported in Dynamics portals if you know HTML. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So what am I talking about? When you're looking at a form in Dynamics portals, you can see fields. And in some cases, there are scenarios where you want to display a bit of text below the field label to inform the user what they need to do, because sometimes it's not apparent. So in Dynamics Portals, there is a configuration record called Web Form Metadata. And this can be associated to an entity form or a web form step. So if you think back to my previous vlogs, this application process is in the form of web form steps in a web form that I've configured in Dynamics 365. So what I've done is I've created a new web form metadata record where the type is of attribute and I'm setting it to the program field. So a metadata uh, record in Dynamics Portals allows you to do some, a bit of, I suppose, manipulation in how it looks on, on the portal. Um, you know, some other examples of metadata for Dynamics Portals is being able to show a, a subgrid on a form. But in this scenario, I'm going to use web form metadata for the field, which is why I've chosen the type of attribute. And if you scroll down, there's a section called description slash instructions. And this is where you can enable the helper text. So if you want to add a description, you set it to yes. There is a position uh, value that you need to select. The first one is above the field. So this will appear below the field label. Below the field means it will display directly underneath where the user inputs their information so it would appear here and then the last one is what we call above the label so that would just sit above here personally for me I like the option above the field which is what I'm going to go with and then there's this option here called use attributes description property so the field can actually use the description that you've entered against the customization settings of that field in the entity in the, in the dynamic solution but I'm setting this to no because I want to be able to do it myself so if you want to include a hyperlink it is pretty easy all you need to do is insert some HTML and it'll work so here's one that I prepared earlier and an example of using helper text is when you want to divert the user to uh, terms and conditions and you don't necessarily want to provide all of it on the page. So I'm going to hit save and now when we go back to the portal and we refresh the browser we can now see the helper text below here. Now what happens when I click on here it will direct to the hyperlink value that I've provided but as you can see it's opening it directly on top of the um, the form that we were at in Dynamics Portals and we don't want that because we want the user to be able to fill that form and not having to browse to a new site that's going to override um, what they were looking at. So there is a different type of hyperlink that you can use which will open it in a new browser. So the key thing here is you want to add target equals um, blank so this is a piece of string that you need to add on top of the original hyperlink that you put through. So now when we add that, we hit save and we now refresh the portal and when we click on the hyperlink this time, it's now going to reserve the portal form 
on the browser that the user is looking at. Sorry, my words got scrambled there. And it's going to open up the URL in a brand new browser tab. Pretty cool, huh? So let's see what else we can do with help text. You ready? Let's do this. Centered text. Right align text. Left align text. Bold text. Italics text. Underline text. Bold italics underline text. Change the font size. Change the font color. Red. Bullet points. Numbered points. Ping pong marquee. To the window. To the wall. To the roof. To the floor. The emojis! Shout out to Megan Walker. Rainbow. Funny! And lastly, you can display GIFs. Ta-da! So there you have it. By using Webform metadata, you can display helper text to your users on Dynamics portals. And with the help of HTML, you can change how it appears to your end users. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Comment below if you did like this vlog. Please follow me on Twitter and you can also follow my blog on Blogger. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. I'll see you next time. Bye.